Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am freshly back from a couple different vacations, which is why I'm looking awfully freckly and my hair is looking lighter and I had to draw on all my eyebrows today because they're completely bleach blonde at this point. Um, and I'm so excited to be back. I had a wonderful time with my family and a couple of different things came up while I was on vacation that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. And now that I'm back, hopefully I will get back to my normal schedule of doing videos once or twice a week. I have some really great stuff planned, so definitely stay tuned. Hopefully I'll be posting two videos today, we shall see. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is kind of the bad news. And the bad news is about one of my most favorite bags my Dooney and Burke Belvedere Ambler bag. And before I purchased this bag, I had done research about it, I had read reviews, and it seemed like there was one theme that kept popping up, and that is that people were complaining about the zipper, which I thought was odd because Dooney and Burke really has excellent zippers usually. And I'm starting to find out for myself what the issue is, and it's not the functionality of the zipper. It is the appearance of it over time it looks so worn and I have not worn this bag a whole lot. I mean, I have used it a good bit, but you guys know I don't carry the same bag every day. So it's not like it's getting extremely worn. And the zipper to me just looks cheap and worn and it's starting to look pilled. And the bag zipper especially looks very pilled and it's getting color transfer and kind of a dirtiness to it that is unattractive to be honest and I'm kind of surprised by um, and so it's just a word of warning to you guys about this bag in particular but also I would assume all Belvedere bags made of that leather would have this type of zipper sewn into it if it has a zipper closure and the zipper is not great so just something to keep in mind I think if I was going to buy a Belvedere bag and I was especially an ambler and I was worried about this issue, I would just stick to the darker colors because I think if this was a darker color, you wouldn't be able to see the dirtiness and the color transfer from jeans on it and probably the pilling would be less obvious. So um, just stick to the darker colors. I'm also getting some color transfer from my jeans on this, which is something I was super paranoid about when I got this color. Um, and it's starting to happen. I've been wiping it with a baby wipe every time um, I take it off, but I'm still starting to see it darken here, especially on this top part of this pocket here and then on the zipper. So just something to be aware of regarding this leather specifically. Um, so now on to better news. And I really wanna tell you guys about this bracelet. So this bracelet my grandmother gave me when I was at the beach with her. And it's kind of funny that she gave it to me because a couple of months ago, maybe it was longer, I was talking to one of my first friends and we were talking about how I'm not good at girl things. And you guys know this about me, especially after my last video about my hair. And she was asking me, she was saying, you know, well, at least, you know, where you wear jewelry, you wear the same bracelet every time in all your videos. What bracelet is that? And I had to tell her so sheepishly that it's a hair tie. It's not even jewelry. It's just a hair tie. I wear a hair tie all the time because I have two little boys and I sometimes have to throw my hair up at any moment. So my grandmother gave me this bracelet and what it is is actually a hair tie holder. So it makes your hair tie not only look nicer, it looks like a piece of jewelry, but also keeps it from cutting into your arm, which is another problem that I have all the time. Even when I take my hair tie off, I just have this like brand in my arm um, from where it's like stuck on to me over, over time. So this is by the company Ella. It's called My Hair Tie Bracelet. You can find them on Amazon. I will link the um, link for Amazon for this down below. And they have silver, gold, and this is the rose gold. And so how it works is it's basically a bracelet with a channel. And you slip it on and then you can put, it comes with three black hair ties, but you can use any hair ties. And you just kind of place it inside the channel, line it up. And there you go. Looks like a nice piece of jewelry. So I think this thing is awesome and I've been wearing it nonstop ever since. I will say, I since I have been wearing it nonstop, I am starting to see that it's getting scratched. So I should probably take it off when I'm, I don't know, swimming in the pool or doing yard work, which is not something that I have been doing. Um, so that's what it is, Ella, my hair tie bracelet. 
So the last thing I wanted to tell you guys about, and I'm a little bit late to the party on this because I was on vacation when they came out, is Dooney & Burke has a new satchel and it's made out of Raleigh leather, which we all know is a durable pebbled, pebbled leather that they have gorgeous colors in. And I'm super excited about this satchel because they finally got it right. They paired durable leather with bright colors. They put the leather duck patch on the front of it instead of the metal and they put a red zipper. Thank you, Duty and Burke. You finally got it right. That for me is the right combination and they finally got it. That red zipper and that, that duck patch and the leather, I think it just looks so much classier than the metal one. And I'm super excited to try one of these satchels. I'm just waiting to see if they're gonna hit the outlets because I know some of the other Raleigh bags did hit the outlets and I want to wait to see if I can get one at an outlet price rather than paying the I Love Dooney price. I will link the I Love Dooney um, listings for those satchels below in the description box if you guys wanna go check them out. If you haven't seen them yet, definitely check them out. I think they're going to be popular and I'm super proud of Peter for doing this for us finally. We finally got it. All right, guys, I've missed you all. So thank you so much for tuning back in and I will be back shortly with a lot of exciting videos. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please put any suggestions you have for videos or ideas in um, the comment section below. I love reading those. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.